You know what I hate? Weird animal group names. You know the ones like, Did you know a group of crows is called a murder? Or, Um, actually, a parliament is the official term for a group of owls. A bloat of hippos. A business of ferrets. A smack of jellyfish. A hammock of cake. <laughs> These are so stupid! The names are completely arbitrary. They're not based on anything empirical. I mean, it can be based on, like, how they look or their vibe, but it's not based on things like classification or ecology. Some closely related species, like crows and ravens, get different ones, like murder versus unkindness. Meanwhile, groups of all six flamingo species are called a flamboyance. What, so each species doesn't get its own? What makes crows and ravens so special? And then things like puffer and porcupine fish don't get anything. Just your standard school. There's no consistency. Where's the line? A cackle of hyenas. Nobody actually calls it that. You know how I know? Go to Google Scholar and look up hyenas behavior and try to find scientific papers on them. You might get a paywall, so try to get one with open access. Once you find your paper, look for the word cackle. Use Control F for PC, Command F for Mac, or find in page for a phone. You're not gonna find it because people who actually study groups of hyenas never call them that. At least not in context. Now look for the word clan. You might get some hits. And if not, do the whole thing again for another paper. I've seen those quirky animal group names on zoo websites, but I would bet money that zookeepers never candidly use those terms with other zookeepers. They might do it for the public, for a presentation, but that's about it. Now just so you know, I'm not actually mad. These group names are hilarious. How can you not love them? They're fun at parties and they're great icebreakers. Hey, how you doing? So you a part of the smack or what? I'm just saying they don't have any actual utility or application to biologists. So let's talk about animal group names that biologists actually use. A group of large herbivores is usually called a herd or a band. Maybe a stampede if they're running. A group of large carnivores is often called a pack, pride, or clan. Groups of birds are called flocks in the air or colonies or rookeries on the ground. A group of fish is called a school or shoal depending on their behavior. Groups of bugs are called swarms in the air or hives, colonies, or nests on the ground. Groups of aquatic mammals can be called pods in the water or colonies on land. Groups of jellyfish are called blooms or swarms, depending on context. And groups of parasitic worms would be called an infestation. Sea turtles get a fun one. Their colonies are sometimes called bales or flotillas. And then there's prairie dog towns. You hear that one a lot. When in doubt, the words group, aggregation, or population are usually pretty safe. Did I miss any? And what critter stuff do you want to see next? Follow my channel and let me know in the comments.